afternoon from Marie at Messiem Creations. I was thinking it's a lot lighter this evening, but that's mainly because we're an hour earlier, aren't I? It was six o'clock yesterday. It's surprising how the nights are drawing in now, isn't it? It's such a shame. So we're here again today playing with Peace and Joy, which is this beautiful stamp set. We're going simple stamping today. We'll be stepping up tomorrow using the die uh, dies as well. Um, so the Peace and Joy stamp set is £17 and I'm going to use the Whisper White and Very Vanilla note cards. Now these little note cards are fantastic particularly for beginners or if you don't want to spend a long time doing a quick bit of stamping because they you get 20 cards and envelopes for only £6.50. So you can very quickly make cards and what I do find is if you're looking at white space and you've just got some inks and a stamp set, these are it's a lot less space to fill so it generally feels slightly less pressured. So colour wise I've picked three shades of green. So I have Seaside Spray because we have those kind of snowflakey uh, patterns. I've got Mint Macaron for a pale green, Just Jade for a mid, Shaded Spruce for a dark and uh, Poppy Parade for our uh, holly berries. So they're my colours for today. So let's get playing. Hi Jeanette. Hope you're well today and if you're watching on catch up do say hi as well. So let's get stamping. Just having a little thought process. So I'm going to stick with peace and joy and somewhere on my desk I mounted the word and. Which, oddly, I can't see right now, but it's definitely on here somewhere. Anyway, I'll find it because what I'm going to do is add that on um, as a little overlay. So that's really weird, isn't it? It's completely disappeared. Have I hidden it behind something? I've done something funny with it. Anyway, let's get going and we'll find it. So for this card, I am going to do the peace and the joy in red. Nice crispy, yeah, Christmassy colour. Sorry, Jeanette, mentioning that word again. It's only 99 days now. <laughs> Glad to hear you are well. Oh, found my hand. There it is. It was hiding. So I'm just going to pop that there. Really simply. And sometimes on a card, I'm not always brilliant at you leaving a lot of white space. But I'm going to give it a whirl. So all I'm going to try and do is take the holly leaves, I'm just going to use the holly and the berries. So inking up those holly leaves in the shaded spruce. I'm going to put a set there, just leaving enough space to pop the berries in. I'm going to put a set there. So I'm stamping straight onto the card so you don't need anything extra. Put a set there. Let's try adding some berries. Going back to our poppy parade. <laughs> Are you forgiving me for mentioning Christmas again? Thank you. Just 
I tried to catch Lynn Fay earlier. I think she might have had some internet challenges again. Tried to watch her yesterday and her internet, I think, gave up on her. So I'm going to, so we'll just stick with those two colours. So I am going to add, now I've found it, my little and. So I have some white paper to the side. So I'm just going to stamp a little and and take my scissors and literally I'm going to cut around that so there is a white gap all the way around I'll make cut that so that it's the same all the way around just to have, as your eye sees it I'm not going to be overly exact not measuring just visually um, and I'm going to take a little mini dimensional Or she could just stick it on with tape and then I'm going to add that in the middle there and there's no reason why you couldn't just stamp that straight on as well and the other stamp that there is is peace and joy and then it says to you and yours so I might just pop that down there in the same shaded spruce so it's brand new let's just give that a couple of stamps Put that just there. So keeping it really nice and simple. I think anybody would be very happy to. My natural instinct is to want to fill more of that white space, but let's embrace some white space. Let's embrace. So just going to tidy that away. I am going to move on to a vanilla card. Hi, Ali. Hope you're well. Hi, Pam. So we're just focusing on some real simple stamping with a stamp. The stamp set seventeen pounds, and then twenty little of these note cards and envelopes are six pound fifty. So it's I've lost my piece now, there it is. So, should we try doing that in green? Let's try doing it in the shaded spruce, the darker green. And see how that comes out. Thinking that and I put it onto a little bit of an angle. Just because I can. And do the word joy again. Slightly angle the joy the other way. Trying to keep it tidy as I'm working. So that's it for the shaded spruce. So then I've got these other greens. So I am going to use, I'm going to be brave and have them both open. Use that little leaf in mint macaron and really actually don't want to have too much ink on the stalky bit because I'm just going to make it kind of come out of the words a little bit. So try not to put too much ink on the stalk, she says. Just really so that you can sort of nestle it in slightly better. To me that just looks slightly more natural if a leaf would come out of a word in nature. You know, run with me, run with me, work with me. I keep, <laughs> keep 
keep saying don't put ink on the stalk and then I'm inking up the stalk. Oh dear. It's nearly the weekend. Let's try that one with that leaf, put that to one side, then actually I think I might try this one, that's kind of a more overly leaf. So again, not inking the stalk up too much. No. I stamped that one off the page, so we do have to re-ink it at this point. But what I am thinking is, can I, oh actually let's practice first, can I get a, yes I can get a second generation out. Just looked like there wasn't a whole heap of ink on there, but again just by not inking that stalk up too much, we can just nestle that in. So have you got a favourite stamp set at the moment, Jeanette, that you're uh, using more than any other? Let's try our holly leaves in no, I'm gonna do it and stamp it off, but I think they might be not quite dark enough. Not really left enough space for as you can see I'm not leaving white space this time I'm filling the space up okay leaving space for those so I'm, I am trying not to overlay but it doesn't matter if we do Let's add those holly berries in first. I'm going to shut those two because I think that could be dangerous to leave those out. Stick a finger or an elbow or something in it or the wrong stamp which is what I did do the other day wanting to do one colour on a stamp and did something else it's rather nice isn't it so what I might try on this one is the and I'm going to pop in the middle literally just stamped about there The only thing I feel that we might, oh no, let's add some of the smaller little snowflake, I'm calling it a snowflake, it's not very snowflake like really is it, but the, it's a geometric snowflake, but I think I can probably squeeze a couple of those in, in the seaside spray. Just to add a little bit more interest again. I am trying to avoid overlaying it too much, but it doesn't matter if we do. <gasps> no mojo, oh no! Is that a decoupage? Is that a different uh, brand? Do 
is in danger of going too over the top, but I just feel like I need one there. So there you go, it's straight onto the card, so in the very vanilla. Now I might try a slightly paler version, still using those same, let's get my trusty chamois out to clean that properly before because what I'm going to try and do is something a little bit paler so because the seaside spray is quite pale I'm going to do that in first generation Quite like that on a jaunty little angle. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm just not sure. I uh, you might have to share one of your creations using that. So then, let me leave it. Oh, if I can put my teeth in, I've got my three greens, but for sure, oh, Joy's got a hint of red to it. I am going to, with the darker ones, I'm definitely going to stamp it off first because I'm going to create something a little bit paler. says not stamping it off I was going to create something a little bit paler with the rest of them what I don't want to do is lose that peace and joy by doing everything too dark around so we've got this let's do this let's try and remember to yeah I've only ever really done stamping for craft I've never done anything else yeah I kind of I do I do feel sometimes I'm a little bit traditional with leaves being green rightly or wrongly so I thought I'd go with three different greens and the seaside spray I just I just love at Christmas I wasn't brave enough to go completely away from Christmas colours. Mint macaroni is rather nice at Christmas as well. I think a lot of those pale, kind of subtle colours are nice for Christmas, aren't they? I might try this in its... because it's... Slightly paler anyway. But we'll really uh, step it up tomorrow using the 
dyes and all the layering and it's just nice to see sometimes the versatility of a stamp set. Oh, there's some little holly leaves in there, don't we? Actually, I might do the and. Do tend to have to be careful with these. Uh, photopolymer stamps they do once you've used a red it does tend to colour it slightly so uh, you need to be careful to get that all off peace and joy quite so bad where I've used the green before To you and yours. So do my holly leaves in the shaded spruce, but remembering to stamp it off this time and ink up the whole leaf. fit without overlaying but that's fine <laughs> see see the difference how I've gone from not having Having a lot of white space to virtually having no white space. But that's the joy of crafting. Forgot to stamp that one off. I won't stamp off my poppy parade because we do like a nice red holly berry. We had a holly tree in the garden. That blooming hurt when I did battle with that. Put another set somewhere, didn't I? There we go. Well, that just adds a nice little bit of little bit of. How does that look? You see that on the. Uh... camera I feel like not that I've really got space <laughs> the difference between those two I've gone from let's leave white space and let's have no white space but essentially always just stick into that simple colour range and it is a card that potentially you could just have one green Actually, should we try that? Should we just use Just Jade, Poppy Parade and Seaside Spray and show the difference that makes with the leaves? I do like the peace and joy in the red. That Poppy Parade. Should we try that on a very vanilla? Oh, and then I've got the envelopes. We mustn't forget to do some envelope decoration. So I'll just do one more and decorate some envelopes. I'm going to do it the other way. I'll put my peace and joy the other way around. Sorry, that was rather a lot louder. Putting down of a stamp, wasn't it? Let's go here. Then I'm going to add some of the snowflakes in first, I think. Mm. 
I'll say, I don't, oh look at that, look, see? Great big thumb mark, I'm not even sure how we can cover that up. <laughs> so that, that's what happens when you... Uh, we'll have a think about it. we're going to cover that up somehow. Because it happens. So that's where I've managed somehow to put that part of my hand into the ink. Which is none too clever, was it? So we know my seaside spray is definitely not going to cover that up. Try some, we'll try popping some holly down there and some berries. <laughs> Let's see how we can manage. Right, just one green and we'll do this leaf first. So we'll do one there. So with limited not sure I'm going to get a third one out. How is it? No, third one is too pale. So the darker the colour, the more generations you can get from... I need to be mindful, I need to... from one inking. So I suspect if I've chosen shaded spruce, I could have got more oh bit of ribbon across there yeah ribbon's a good call actually let's let's I'm going to pop the holly leaf coming off. Then we have the option to add some berries, and then we've also got the option to add a bit of ribbon. Thinking. Let's have a see how it looks if I put some little berries in there. I'm thinking of, I'm thinking I need to be careful where I put that red. I mean, honestly, could have been. I could have done it in one of the darker colours, uh, lighter colours, couldn't I? But no. That probably could be spotted. We might need a placement of a leaf so I'm going to run with this leaf again just using the two shades of green got one shade of green but Two shades by creating a stamping off. Oh, did I manage that? Oh, got a bit of holly there. I didn't add berries to. Sure, I might. Oh, I can get a third one out. Oh, 
Right, let's put some berries on that third one. Right, let's. Have we had one experience? Or... Add some berries there. And then the other thing, I've lost me, oh there it is, if I put, I'm going to stamp the to you and yours in Poppy Parade and the and and the and if you know what I mean then we're trying to think aha we were using just jade weren't we how about oh probably not wide enough The... Let's cut those out first and see what well, I had the brilliant idea of using the Just Jade ribbon, but it's a narrower ribbon. We might not fit. So if I cut this slightly closer to the edge, this is the nice thing about these solid sort of greetings where the the solid colour and then the lettering is in white. What you can do is you're just freehand cutting it, which if it isn't quite straight, panic not. It's homemade. What I'm thinking is if I offer that up to a bit of ribbon, I might just do it really close. So I'm just going really close. This is a joint, so you can have a bigger white edge or you can have a thinner white edge so what I'm thinking is it's the same width as the ribbon but we could have a little bit of ribbon popping out each end like we planned it let's find my Tape. Oh, managed to tape that to the backing card. Oh, I've picked up Stamp and Seal Plus. Then, if I put that in the middle of that bit of ribbon, my right little conversation to myself now, aren't I? But I think sometimes it's quite useful to know what to do if things go don't quite go to plan. Oh, the, that started in the middle and now it's not in the middle. So just the tiniest little bit. However, by replicating that in the middle there for our and... Which I'm gonna no, I'm gonna put straight. So that's gonna go straight there, but when we put this one down here, hopefully that bit of green will mask that splodge even further. That's the plan. Oh, end of
You know what, I bought myself a silicone mat to stop myself doing that. So, what we're going to do... is then... Yeah, we don't have a wider ribbon in the colours, but... I think it might hide it sufficiently so it's going to be our secret Jeanette or anybody else that watches this afterwards but by using that little bit of ribbon we can we can mask it or how about we can mask it even better by two little rabbit ears oh she says crossing them over and the bow's going to look like it belongs marie can make a bow there we go that's not the best bow i've ever created is it Oh dear, let's try that one again. I cut a short bit to try and save a bit of ribbon and I may have not aided myself. That's slightly better, isn't it? Because what I'm thinking, we really, we only need a small ribbon on a small card. We don't want too big a bow. But what I'm thinking is the bow can sit and that can go there and then the bow looks like it belongs because it's going to come out of that and then it's hidden it who knew there was anything there in the first place so Panic not if things don't quite go to plan and you stick your hand in your ink. I'm going to cut those ends once I've stuck this on. So what I do have handy is a little glue dot. So I'm going to pop a little glue dot on the back there. And then that is literally going to sit there at the end of the greeting and then as if by magic good call with the ribbon Jeanette we've got a little bit of excess there so there we go that didn't quite go to plan but however we have Managed to mask that. Well said, yes. <laughs> I hate to waste a card. So be careful where the tape is because what I thought would be quite nice. Well, we did the holly yesterday on the card, didn't we? Actually, let's just do it in shade of spruce. Do some of the leaves coming onto the card, onto the envelope, I mean. I'm going to try it with a few of the different ones. I quite like this, this something about this shape of leaf I rather like. See how I let's try the other one just so that they don't get envy. 
yes. So if we use shaded spruce, you can see it's a darker green. You get the three different. I do quite like the holly. I'm going to do another holly leaf on there as well. Not on there as well. On another one. And then they'll know the Christmas cards arrived. And all you have to remember is that you have got to fit the address on, so don't put too much on the envelope. Let's get the shaded spruce out of the way. A few little holly berries. And then we are done for the evening. My stomach is rumbling terribly. It has been fed, so I don't know what it's making complaints about. It's looking forward to its dinner, obviously. Has hubby done? Oh, look, look. I'm going to roll today, aren't I? I'm going to have to write an address right over that bit. I, so that's what you get when you ink your block up. Oh, we've had a day with that red, haven't we? So, there we go. Three decorated envelopes, we'll just mask that little bit there. <laughs> Three cards. So that's using the little packs of note cards, which is a pack of 20. So it's quite a nice way of creating a number of cards. So there we go for today. So I look forward to seeing you tomorrow for some stepped up versions. We'll have some fun with some stamps and dies and layering it and we'll go... Look at crazy. So have a lovely evening and I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye bye.